pork chops go hand in hand, especially when you pair it with apples, right? Look at that, tomahawk pork chops. So you even get more bones, something more to chew. And I'm gonna put these aside really quick while we do this warm spice rub. So we're gonna do a little turbinado sugar. You can use demerara sugar or in a pinch, some brown sugar, kosher salt, of course. Some cinnamon, right? Some cardamom, which gives it that floral earthy note. I love it. All right, and a little bit of ground ginger, nutmeg right from the nut, okay? Picture it like every time you grate it fresh, it's like opening a new jar of nutmeg every time. All right, just store it with all your spices in a zipper top bag. Remember, a little of this goes a long way. So a couple grates of this, and look at this, just beautiful spice rub you can use on vegetables. This is great on sweet potatoes. And we're just gonna give a nice liberal sprinkling of this warm spice rub. All right, flip it. I got my smoker going, it's at about 225. And I'm using a combination of apple chips and hickory. And these pork chops, depending on their thickness, are gonna take anywhere from an hour to two hours. You just wanna bring the internal temperature to 115 degrees because we are gonna finish it on a really hot grill and get a nice hard caramelization and sear on it. Come on, hon. We're going to the smoker. Right, my smoker's going. You don't need anything else on there. We check the temp, it's at the perfect temp. Always have a water pan of some sort. You can use a disposable aluminum uh, tray for that. But I have this bowl and I put literally water from the hose, nice and shallow. And that creates a nice, humid, moist environment, which means you get moist meat. Dry meat doesn't soak up as much smoke and flavor as moist meat, right? That's why people spray their meat a lot. Now look at this here. So this is what I did earlier, right? I took a couple onions. I sliced them fairly thick and we got the perfect caramelized onions here. So the beauty of caramelized onions is you really don't need much besides an onion. Maybe a little sugar, some salt. And then you have these, look at these, like, I mean, just, just beautiful colors. You just gotta go low and slow on this just like you're doing the pork, right? You can't rush this process. You gotta slowly kind of wilt those onions till they're just like a mass of sweetness and aromatic beauty that pairs well with this warm spice smoky pork chop. So when this thing kind of gets to this point of full caramelization, that's when we're bringing out that honey crisp apple. My favorite apple. There's nothing left to say. It's my favorite apple, why? Because it's sweet and I like a sweet apple, but it's also tart to the point where it kind of starts tinging you right on the sides, right? Right in your cheeks right there. And it's hearty too, so you can cook with it well. You cook it long enough and it just kind of melts in here. So we're gonna cook the rest of these onions with a couple of these diced apples I did. And then I squeezed some fresh lemon on it, you know, acidulated water there to keep it from browning. Uh, you're right, because the air and apples don't mix. And we're gonna reserve half of these for our kind of garnish, right? Because I want cooked down apple mingling with the sweetness of those onions and some nice crunchy raw apple with some freshness to put on top, double apple. Plus I got a little bit of apple cider, triple apple, just to help deglaze the pan in a little bit, give it some acid. And this isn't gonna take much, right? 10 minutes, right? You just kind of want, you want to marry these two ingredients. I take a bite of this apple and it reminds us of our childhood home. All right, I'm gonna let these guys kind of get, get going here, 10 minutes on this. And I am putting the final touches on my smoky pork chop. Remember, we had it smoking low and slow at 225 to the internal temperature hit 115. We had some apple wood in there, some oak hickory wood. It was wonderful. Now I'm putting the final touches on it by giving it a very hard and quick sear. Sear. Uh, Sierra. Can you believe the sear on there, Sierra? <laughs> Look at these guys, right? So I, I, I like to cut these kind of off the bone first. They've rested, right? I took it, I like my pork at a perfect kind of medium well or medium, right? Totally safe to do. And then if, oh, Sarah, I'm coming. Sarah, I can't see. look at that marbling though. Look at that. Oh, that is so good. Let me grab a plate. All that onion flavor, caramelized sweetness. That would be good on it. Look at those honey crisps, beautiful dice with those fresh chives. It's just gonna go right on top. So easy, right? We kept the skin on those honey crisps for flavor, but also for a little additional color. 
double apple, triple apple if you include the apple cider vinegar, onions, cooked apple, fresh apple, smoky pork, one bite. That's the best pork chop I've ever had. Scout's honor. That, my friend, is just a steaky ribeye-like bite, which you don't find in a lot of pork. And then you get the freshness of the Honeycrisp apples and the density and the funk from those onions and cooked down Honeycrisp. Very good job, well done.